for the next kind of stabile that I'm gonna make, I need to cut my cardstock into four or five big pieces. So I'm gonna start off by just cutting it. Maybe I'll do one that's like this and then cut that one like that. So I've got four, or I've got five, but you could do four. Um, and then inside each of these, I could either leave it as the shape that it is. So I might leave this one as a big rectangle and this one as a big square. And then the other ones, we want to make a shape that fills up the whole piece. So I've got a triangle. If I'm gonna do a circle, that circle needs to fill up that whole square. You want your puzzle pieces to be big. If your puzzle pieces are small, it's gonna be really hard to make your stabile stand up. So I've got five shapes, really big. The ones that I've already, that I'm just gonna keep, rectangle and square, I'm good. I need to cut out these three. So I'm just gonna cut on the black lines. All right, I've got all of my pieces cut out and now I'm ready to add some decorations with our construction paper crayons. So you are going to draw designs on both sides of all of your pieces. I'm just gonna do some quick designs, but you could definitely make these very detailed. It can be whatever you want realistic, abstract. The most important thing is that both sides need to have some kind of design on them. So I've got designs on all of my pieces on both sides. For the next step, I'm going to be using a Sharpie to draw the little lines where I'm going to cut. You do not need to draw those lines yourself. Um, I'm just doing the Sharpie so that you can see where I'm cutting my lines. So those lines need to be pretty short. You're gonna cut very small little lines and you're only gonna do like one on each side. So for a circle, just do three, triangle, do three, and you need to put it right in the middle. This heart kind of has two sides, so I'm only gonna do two. And then my square has four sides. So I'll go ahead and do four. So I'm gonna cut those little spots, just a very short little cut, one on each side. Remember, you do not have to draw the lines in order to cut them. I'm just drawing them so that you can see how big I'm cutting them and where I'm cutting them. And you'll do that for all of your pieces. So I have all of those little lines cut on each side of my shapes. And now I'm ready to start putting them together. And what you wanna do is just pick any two shapes. I would start with ones that just have straight edges. I would save the ones with curvy edges for the end. So you're gonna take those two lines and you're gonna stick them together. Now, if I only do it like that, I don't know if you can see, that's not very strong, right? That's gonna come apart really easily. What you wanna do is you wanna open it up and you want them to go past each other, right? So if it's, let me show you again with another one. If the lines are just overlapping a little bit like that, it's not gonna be very strong. But if you open them both up, then you can lock them in and you can see how my line on that side went past my line on that side. And what's cool about this kind of a stabile is that it's almost like a puzzle because you could put it together in one arrangement and then later take it apart and you could try something else new and it'll kind of tell you how it wants to sit, right? You can also experiment with other ways of having it stand up. And what's exciting about this 
is that any angle that you look at it from is going to be interesting. And once you get tired of one arrangement, you can take it apart and you can put it back together in a different way.